Slayer. What is going on guys, I'm Falcon, today I'm bringing you another video on what Halo 5 needs to do to be successful. Episode, um, episode, uh, let's just have a look, episode 5 I believe, um, yeah, episode 5, um, yeah. Anyway, this one's going to be on the vehicles of uh, Halo 5 and what I think the vehicles need to have. Now, uh, vehicles have always played a quite a big part in Halo 4, well, well in Halo in general, um, because of the enormity of Big Team Battle. Now, now, you consistently see Big Team Battle being the most popular players in the game, so um, why not? Um, yeah, so vehicles are obviously important. Just a little bit about the gameplay real quick. Um, oh my god, it's lagging out. Um, a bit about the gameplay. Um, it's a very good game, I think, but you can tell that my BR is off completely. I was just playing, I think it was my first game back in a while, but I actually played, um, I had an extremely high score, I think it was this one, I think I got 42 kills or something, so, utter domination, I, I think it might have been this game. Anyway, yeah, um, so, leading on from the last video, the last video was on weapons, and we're just going to see some of the feedback we got from that. So, the craze Parton says, Plasma Launcher, wants that back, love that weapon, um, I agree with you there, Plasma Launcher was... Uh, a good weapon, although it was a little bit too similar to the fuel rod, in my opinion. Just a bit, just a bit, you know what I mean? He also said about the flamethrower, agree. I don't know why they took that out after uh, in Halo Reach. In Halo 3, that was a good weapon. I actually love that. The flame grenades and spike grenades. Now, I totally agree with you there. I, I completely forgot to mention the grenades, and I think that the grenades are a big part in Halo, obviously. But also, um, the flame grenade and the spike grenades, well, they're both really good. And I think they will be a much better um, influence on the game than the pulse nade, which I cannot use to save my life. Um, next up, um, Avengers 117, good video. Um, MLG Ninja PGL says, no loadout ranks in rank players. Weapon skins are awesome. Should be available in for every weapon in Halo 5 that you pick up. Ranked or social. Totally agree with you there, man. Um, thanks. And also, yeah, submit a gameplay when you can. Um, okay. Um, so, vehicles. Now, um, the vehicles in Halo 4 were pretty bog standard to the rest of the Halo games. For the UNSC, you had the... Um, oh, who, you had the Mongoose, the Warthog. And that was it. That was all you had for the UNSC. For the Covenant, you had the Ghost, and you had the Banshee, and the Wraith. Oh, and the UNSC had Scorpion. Sorry, I forgot about that. <coughs> you had Scorpion. But however, for the UNSC, you did have the different types of Warthogs. So you had the Gauss, the the Normal, and you had the um, the Rocket, Rocket Hog. Um, yeah, so they, they were good. They were good, but let's count. So you, you have Warthog, Mongoose, Banshee, um, Ghost, Wraith. Um, and the scorpion. So that's only six. Now, as I said earlier, the, the enormity of the size of the big team battle is immense. And I'm sorry, this is a vehicle I need to bring back: the Falcon or the Hornet from Halo 3 or the Falcon from Reach. That weapon promoted that vehicle. Sorry, promoted so much teamwork. It was actually insane, and it was amazing to play with like you yeah, had the two people on the gunners you could even put people inside it was brilliant for machinimas that's why you don't see many machinimas in halo 4 because halo reach was so customizable and yeah that was a previous topic um um yeah um the hornet and the falcon oh they were just really really good and if they could bring those back that would be absolutely insane and that would be brilliant man that was such a good weapon i'm i'm I sort of a, sort of a bit annoyed that they took it out to be honest I thought that they didn't need to, and it was a good weapon, and it would have worked really well on perhaps what big to exile it might have worked on. It might have worked on oh, what's that one? Vortex and perhaps even longbow it would have worked on uh, Vortex. And what's the other one? Oh, I've forgotten it, but you know the big team maps. Apart from Ragnarok, it might not work on that because it wasn't actually in the original map. But having said that, oh Mantis as well, Mantis for the UNSC. But having said that. The Mantis was a good addition. It was a it was a fun addition, but was it really needed? Would you rather have the Mantis or just kept um, the Hornet? 
in my opinion, I would have kept the Hornet because I just did not like the Mantis at all. I just could not use it. And overall, I just I just didn't like it. I just thought it was a bit overpowered. And y you saw that by just people just coming in like a wrecking ball and CTF from Ragnarok failed. Anyway, what's this? Yeah, I'm on 20 kills, aren't I? Um, the one the one thing that Halo 4 lacked in terms of vehicles was... Where was the Promethean vehicles? Not a single one. Promethean vehicle. Now, that may have something to do with the campaign because I don't know if... You know, the Promethean, the, the, the dogs, the crawlers, they wouldn't be able to drive a vehicle. Neither could the, um, uh, the ones, the healers. I've gone with the, <laughs> I'm actually hopeless. But the knights could, couldn't they? I'm sure the knights probably could. And so, I don't see why 343 didn't implement a Promethean vehicle. I mean, after all, they invented a whole new species in the game and still put in uh, with weapons and stuff. And yet they didn't put in a... Um, Oh my god, they didn't even put in a vehicle, so I don't really see the point of that, you know. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure about, I think vehicles are brilliant, they're obviously needed, they're needed in the game, and without the vehicles you don't really have the sort of, like, in Big Team you have the vehicle horse, you have the snipers, and then you have, you have the ground troops, which are the ones that run around and get killed all the time and you also have the marksman which is basically the guys that actually stand back and actually watch and actually do well um but yeah you need the vehicles i mean that's a big asset to the game and without the vehicles it don't really stand it's not really as much of a halo game as it could be uh, but guys next episode i actually don't know what to say um we could have i done playlists it's, it's just let's have a quick look what have i done what have I done? So we done. Oh god, come on. Um, ranking system, ranking system, armor and weapons, armor and weapons, and now vehicles. So next week will be. Got it. Maps, maps. Leave a comment in the description box below. What maps you want to see in Halo Five? What remakes? What types of maps? And also comment on what I've explained today and what vehicles you want to see in Halo 5. So comment below. Vehicles in Halo 5. Maps in Halo 5. Maps will be next uh, next week. And I hope you have enjoyed this commentary. It has been a while. I know I've been a bit inactive from Xbox. But nevertheless, I will let the gameplay play out. As it is a fairly decent gameplay. And I don't want it to go to waste. Anyway, guys. It has been your boy, Fired Kid, And I hope to see you guys all next time. And just want to say peace out and hope you had a good Super Bowl Sunday yesterday, which I will watch at some point online. Peace.
machine the lead. 